So the earthquake seized them, and they became within their home, corpses fallen prone. So the earthquake seized them, and they became within their home, corpses fallen prone. And Moses chose from his people seventy men for our appointment. And when the earthquake seized them, he said, My Lord, if you had willed, you could have destroyed them before and me as well. Would you destroy us for what the foolish among us have done? This is not but your trial by which you send astray whom you will and guide whom you will. You are our protector, so forgive us and have mercy upon us, and you are the best of forgivers. And mention when we raised the mountain above them, as if it was a dark cloud, and they were certain that it would fall upon them. And Allah said, Take what we have given you with determination, and remember what is in it, that you might fear Allah. Those before them had already plotted. But Allah came at their building from the foundations, so the roof fell upon them from above them, and the punishment came to them from where they did not perceive. Do not walk upon the earth exultantly, Indeed, you will never tear the earth apart, and you will never reach the mountains in height. Then do you feel secure that instead he will not cause a part of the land to swallow you, or send against you a storm of stones? Then you would not find for yourselves an advocate. But they denied him, so the earthquake seized them, and they became within their home corpses fallen prone. Then do they not look at what is before them and what is behind them of the heaven and earth? If we should will, we could cause the earth to swallow them, or could let fall upon them fragments from the sky. Indeed, in that is a sign for every servant turning back to Allah. Do you feel secure that he who holds authority in the heaven would not cause the earth to swallow you and suddenly it would sway? So as for Thamud, they were destroyed by the overpowering blast. When the earth is shaken with its final earthquake, 